I'm Jim Davidson, OBE, boat owner and comedian. Sometimes you have to take life seriously, and that is when you're on the water. Uh, I've got a 2004 Princess 61. I'm in love with the boat, but there's certain things on it that need upgrading. I didn't believe you can actually upgrade a boat to be almost like a new boat. And the most important thing for me is, uh, is the thrusters. I'm not very good at parking, and side power have solved my problems uh, with this new system that they're putting on. It's no good going out having fun all day on your boat with everybody, and then you're a nervous wreck trying to park her up. Little bit of wind, little bit of tide, you need that confidence, that confidence to, to get alongside, and that's what this will give me. I'm really, really thrilled about this. Without this side power system, you know, I'd, I'd be panicking every time I come into moor or up. The biggest problem about having a boat, and, and we're all pretty much amateurs unless you're in the Royal Navy or the Merchant Navy, um, is parking it. And uh, I remember I didn't have much trouble when I had a little speedboat, because at the time when I had the little speedboat, there wasn't any moorings. You'd picked up a boy and wait to get a lift ashore to the theatre. It was the same when I had the Sunseeker, but when I got the Princess 55, it didn't have any thrusters at all. So you'd come in and and I, I learned how to steer by just using the gearboxes. Uh, it doesn't happen here. I used to have another gearbox, so you'd leave it in neutral and you'd do what your shoulders wanted to do. Well, the wind had its own idea and the tide. No one told me all this when I bought the boat. And I kept putting little smiles on it. I had the gel coat man. He had a little camp at the back of my boat uh, waiting for me. I kept him, <laughs> kept him afloat, I think, if you excuse the pun. And then... I had a, a little LDN and I remember going into Yarmouth and I had people on board and I bounced off of everything in there. I couldn't steer it, so it was a nightmare. Now I've got this big 61. It's terrifying. It, you know, it's an old boat, you don't never know what's going to go wrong. I've got a list of things that have gone wrong, but it's the parking. It, it, you can't even go near a sniff of a champagne cork because you've got to have all your wits about you. This never leaves my body. This allows you to get off uh, and, and move the boat. It's like having a remote control boat. It's sensational. I can park this myself. I can go out on it on my own. That's half the problem when you get a boat. Why don't you take the boat out, love? Oh, I've got no one to go out with, no one to sling me rope. Now I can come alongside with this with great confidence in any wind or tide, hold her alongside, well, with this in my hand as a safety net, go down, grab the rope and tie her up. I've seen other people do it and I thought, ooh, they must have been going to sea every day for 100 years. No, they haven't. They've just got this. A lot of people have complained that people use their thrusters too much, and a lot of people do. Uh, the danger is, is to use your thrusters to turn the boat and to do a lot of stuff which you could really do with your jiggery-pokery. Um, these are really quiet, and so you, if you have to overuse them a little bit because you've cocked up coming in, the whole marina doesn't know that you've done that and you're coming in on your bow thrusters very, very frowned upon. These are quite quiet. If you look on YouTube, you will find a rather filthy uh, version of an advert for side power. You know, quiet in the bedroom, more thrust, less noise. The difference between this uh, upgraded super duper all bells and whistles system, you have to get used to it because it's quiet. And so let's say they're off now, but let's say I, I, I do this. You can hardly hear what's going on. You've really got to strain the old ear rolls to do it. Uh, same with the, the hold power. I have to shout down to somebody and said, look, I'm now holding on side because they can't hear it. It just, just leaves it on. The great thing about the hold thing, when I used to live at Shamrock Quay, a bit of tide would be going through. So not only have you got to go alongside, you've got to make sure the tides are not moving you back and forward. So just up a nudge on here and it will hold you. The friction of your fenders pushing against the, the key will, will hold you there. This is the real deal, side power. It says it all. Why would you want to have anything else? It works, it's a product. You know they've got the backup there. The guys that fitted this, they did this in 10 minutes. 
lifted it out of the water themselves. <laughs> They're that good. But seriously, it's great backup. Why would you want to have something that, if you're not happy with it, a little man comes round on his bicycle or two of them on a tandem with a bag of spanners and they sort it for you. They're a big, uh, a big company and they all like their boating. The boss has got a boat, the other ones have got a boat. They all understand what the boater needs and so you're dealing with people that are there to solve your problems and, and this is a, a big problem solver for me. Now this is what you shouldn't do, but I always do. Use your bow thrusters for turning. You know, see, look, why not have a bit of help? Thank you. Mother's little helper. Now that will just drift round. Rudders amidships. Off we go. You guys need side power. All we have to worry about is the sun cream. Mother's little helper, side power. I sound like I'm doing an advert, don't I? But I'm not. Especially going astern. You don't know what's right, what's left. <sighs> Terrifying. And I've been doing this for 40 years. Gonna use the hold on facility now. Just one click's enough today because there's no wind. So we hit this and she'll stay alongside. Tie her off, Kev, and just get the bow rope. And I can look when the bow's going in and out. It's, it's I'm not just messing about, this is really good. And the women love it. So now, with the hold on, I can walk down and do this. Follow me, gang. I can walk along the front, tie my own rope. And any problem, I've got this as a backup. Side power. Don't leave home without it. Mm.